Hi, welcome to Axure Responsive Design Patterns. Uh, going to be introducing the system today. Uh, my name is Stuart Hopper. Um, a bit of background on me. I'm a UX designer. I've been working in UX for about six years now uh, from a background of, sort of mixed uh, design and front-end development. Um, so today we're looking at the new release of the system. Um, it's version 1.01 .01, as you can see here the framework RP file. Um, so firstly I'll, I'll mention, uh, sorry basically if we repeat anything from the last video uh, I think it's important to go through it again. Um, so first of all we must use the framework RP that we see here uh, with the adaptive RP LIB file. So let's hope open that up just to have a quick peek at it. Here we are. So the adaptive views must match for the adaptive uh, adapted qualities of each widget to uh, drop properly in the framework RP file. Um, so just to detail how we work with the system, um, we design for width ranges not break points. So just to detail those width ranges, um, here we have the base view, um, so it's a mobile first approach, um, so this is the phone design, um, and so the range for that phone design is from 0 to 532 pixels wide, as you can see the medium view is 533 and above. Um, and so this medium view uh, is for between 533 and 959 pixels and the large view is for 960 and above. So you know broadly speaking we've got a, a base view for phone, uh, a medium view for uh, tablet and a large view for desktop. Although I try and make sure that I design interactions so it can work on both touch devices and uh, mouse driven. Um, so yes next um, so we work proportionally uh, with the system. So, um, as we know, Axure's adaptive views are fixed widths. Um, so we work proportionally. So the 320 pixel design you see here for phone is scaled up or down for viewport widths in the range of between 0 and 532 pixels. So uh, percentage values can be derived from this design. Uh, we can obviously specify uh, on you know percentages on layout elements if we want to be explicit for for our developers um but i think you know the the assumption i make is that you know our developers are intelligent guys and we can sit down with them and just explain that you take it and you derive the percentage values um so another point about why are we designing at 320 pixels for phone so i design at the smaller widths to validate the design works in more constrained space obviously um, if it works at 320 pixels it should be fine at 532 um, so yes we're working in one page so we, in, we, we contain our entire prototype in one page why um, that's because uh, we want to use mobile native interactions and transitions and that's not possible between pages in Axure so um, pages are handled uh, the paging system is effectively a dynamic panel we're going to see now um, so uh, let me just close these other pages um, so here we are in the prototype page um, if we well here we see the viewport panels the viewport panel is uh, effectively what everything is contained in and this is what allows us to um, prototype the mobile menu interaction or the sliding menu let's open the first panel state uh, and within this we find our header panel with our, our header features our uh, content panel and our menu panel and effectively when you interact with stuff you know all this moves around um, and it sits behind the viewport and um, so you get the effect of the uh, pull-out menu. So the content panel is our paging system. Let's just open that up. Um, here we are. We've got four pages at the moment. Um, so if we open page one, so this is where we've currently got all our he heroes and, and sections. Um, just show them quickly adapted. 
Um, so if we let's quickly just show you how to add a page. So click add here. Let's add page five. Okay, and we also want to add that to our menu. So we open our menu dynamic panel, and we just can just control shift drag on PC to duplicate an item. And you know, let's just call that, let's call that a test page. Um, and let's just move it up one pixel and check it's correct in our medium view and in our large view. Obviously, we'll need to place that in the correct location. Okay, so we just added a, a page. Um, so now I'll just show you uh, the adaptive widgets, how we drag them out from our library. If you haven't loaded the library, you need to load it now. Um, download the library and the framework from the site. Now the site is, is actually a responsive design.com. Uh, so here we are, version 1.0, 1.01. Um, probably worth mentioning why it's called that, um, versioning. Um, so we've got version 1.01 of the framework. Um, now we may have multiple different libraries for um, that version of the framework. So if you've got uh, an RP library and it starts with 1.01, .01, that works with the 1.01 .01 version of the framework RP file. Um, so if I make a new uh, adaptive widgets library for version 1.01 .01 of the framework, it would be called 1.01.02 uh, RPLIB. I hope that makes sense. Um, so here we are. We've got a our new page open in this tab. Um, we've got our adaptive widgets here. So let's say we drag out a heading uh, and let's drag out a hero. Actually, no, we wouldn't do that, would we? We would drag out a hero first. Sorry about that. Yeah, undo, undo. Uh, we drag out the hero at the top, uh, and then we drag, make, let's just for demo purposes, drag out a pair. And so now uh, what you'll see is that we need to adjust the flow in the other views, because as you can see, um, it's just dropped in the same place throughout the views. So uh, when we drag and drop widgets, we just need to go into the adaptive views. And as you can see, our bug has been fixed that we detailed before. Um, so the widgets are grouped, so we can drag them nice and easily. Uh, yeah, and, and that's really it with uh, the adaptive widgets. Drag them out, drop them, um, and then go into the adaptive views and place them in the correct place in the, the new flow. Um, okay, what else do we do now? Let's talk about... I've added page, mini item. Oh, uh, yeah, let's demo it. That, that's probably a pretty good idea. <sighs> there we are. Um, so in the prototype um, page, uh, you will see our... Oh, let's go to our new page, shall we? Oh, that's not our new page. Uh, okay, teething problems. Let's let's deal with that. Uh, it's probably because we didn't change the link in the menu. So we'll open the menu and test. And our interaction is that we want to set the content panel to our page five. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, there we are, there's our new page. Um, so one thing worth mentioning as well, actually that's not our new page, let's click the test page in the menu, and there's our new page. Okay, uh, one other thing I should mention at this point is that I've also added two new pages over here which essentially are just um, pages for frames uh, so we can show, demo our prototype in a nice um, picture of a phone uh, and a tablet. Uh, that's just using a simple iframe uh, in those pages uh, to, to facilitate that. 
Um, yep. Uh, so I'll quickly show you that. Here we are. It's just a an image widget with a iframe widget inline frame uh, widget there, which points to our prototype page. Okay. One one thing. Other thing worth mentioning is I have included here now a number of prototype uh, generation um, configurations. Configuration generation, uh, something like that. Um, so essentially, you'll find those in public in the published menu, more generated configurations. Um, so if you want to generate for one of these devices, you select that um, when you generate it. But you will need to do a slight change to some dynamic panels within the uh, prototype uh, within the RP file, sorry, the, the, the framework RP file. Um, I'll be doing that in the next video. Thank you. Um, oh, probably worth mentioning at this point that uh, I do have a, I have released a video course um, detailing uh, a lot of the advanced techniques that go into making the library um, and the framework. Uh, that's available through Pact Publishing. Um, if you just Google learning Axia RP Pact or my name, Sure Hopper, you should find it. Thanks very much.